So guys, my rigs went down today. They were down for about 10 hours. And like anyone who mines cryptocurrency, I hate, I hate when my rigs go down. But I want to talk about it in this video, talk about what happened. And I want to talk about Awesome Miner and basically just declare my love for Awesome Miner and just, you know, give my thanks to Patrick who runs Awesome Miner and how great the support is. Um, this is the thing, guys, you know, I think there's a lot of people that are turning towards free solutions rather than a premium solution. Now, Awesome Miner's both, actually. You can download it free of charge. But I, I went for the premium edition, which is $170, you know, so that I can do things like change my GPU settings and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I also pay $10 a month for the cloud service. And that allows me to basically manage things on the cloud via a browser, via my phone, via a tablet, whatever. I can reboot my computers. I can stop miners. I can start miners. It's a little bit limited in some respects with a, in, in comparison to the full application that's on your computer. But... You know, I use it all the time. Like, literally every single day, I will check it just to make sure everything's ticking over. So, I absolutely love the software, but I love the software. I love the features. I love the functionality. It does every single thing that I need. And I've set it up in such a way that, you know, if I'm mining a coin and the pool goes down, it'll go to another coin and it'll go to another pool so that I'm always mining. Now, this is why I love it. But the second reason I love it is because of support. I really can't stress how great the support is. I really can't stress how great the support is. Whenever I email Patrick about a feature or I'll say, well, why doesn't it do A, B or C? He'll usually come back and say, that's a great idea. We'll add that. Or he'll say, well, we can't add that because of this or we can't do this. But you always explain why something can't be added. And other times you'll just add it. He does about four to five updates per month. Um, as far as the software goes. So you've always got the latest version of the software and all that. So, I mean, I've talked about Awesome Miner many times in the past. Um, if I jump over here, you can see Awesome Miner. I, I I think it's a fantastic script. I realize there are fantastic other fantastic solutions out there, but I really do love Awesome Miner. Now, as far as um, Awesome Miner goes, now, when I woke up today, all this bit here, like if I right-click, you'll see lots of options here. Now, for example, I could stop that. But today, it's this saying stop, they said service offline. And if I right click, I can start it. But today, that option to start wasn't there. It wasn't there. So this time, was like, I started panicking when I found that out. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? So I spent a few hours trying to troubleshoot what the hell was going on. I tried everything. I installed the latest version of um, the remote agent. I think I was one version behind. Uh, I checked that the recent Windows updates didn't have any errors. I checked Windows Defender. I checked everything that I, you know, I thought would be relevant. Now, the one thing I didn't check was IP addresses. And basically, this all stems back to an issue I had yesterday. Uh, and I guess going back, it probably stems from Windows updates. But uh, whenever Windows does an update, right, this is kind of bizarre. I don't know why, but whenever Windows does an update, even when I manually disable updates, Twitter stops working on my computer. It stops working on Chrome. It stops working on Firefox. Something to do with this, with the certificate. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I've looked at it. I can't find a, a concrete answer on this uh, online. And I've looked at lots of different uh, solutions and advice as to what to do. And last night, I tried lots of them. I signed out of Google on my computer and I cleared the cache and I resynced in and all that. And what it's done is actually on my phone, it stopped uh, the names appearing for everyone. All the contacts are out of date. So I've got the phone numbers appearing for everyone and I don't know who the hell is messaging me. Um, so that caused a problem. And I followed someone's advice and I changed a couple of settings in my router and I reset the router. Now, that is what ultimately caused the problem with my rigs. That's what caused the problem with my rigs. Because what the router has done when I've reset it is reassign my rigs new IP addresses. Now, the reason I didn't think that was causing a problem and why I didn't check it today, because you'd think that would be the first thing I checked, but I reset my router last night about seven, eight o'clock. 12 hours later, after the rigs have been running for 12 hours with the new, you know, with the router being reset, 12 hours later is when my rigs went down and when my, you know, the rigs stopped running and they stopped mining. I am baffled as to what happened there. I don't know why the router has re or, you know, perhaps uh, something with my uh, my ISP. I don't know. I don't know if my internet provider has anything to do with this, but about 12 hours after I reset the router, I assigned new IP addresses to my, um, to my rigs. 
that was the source of the problems and why my rigs were, were down today. Now, I was kind of pulling my hair out about this because I did spend about two hours trying to fix this. I emailed Patrick from Awesome Miner. I sent him some screenshots. He asked me for the log file. He checked everything. And within about 30 minutes, he just going back and forth. He had found out what the issue was. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't know what was going on with my router assigning the IP addresses 12 hours after being reset. But that was the issue because the, the, the rigs had new IP addresses. This computer, my main installation of Awesome Miner, couldn't connect. And that's why it appeared offline, even though everything seemed to be working okay. So, yeah, as I said, guys, I love Awesome Miner. I'm sure you, most of you have tried it before. It is a free download and you can buy a premium version if you want, you know, more features, premium features such as uh, GPU overclocking, all these different things. Um, but as I said, I love the features. I love the functionality. I love the fact it's updated all the time. But, you know, sometimes I think we all take uh, support for granted and we think that everything's going to be okay because 99.9% .9 of the time, my rigs tick over, I've got no downtime, and I've got no problems with running my rigs with configuration, with anything like that, and I don't need help. But when something goes wrong, this is why you're reminded why you pay for a premium service, such as Awesome Miner's cloud service, and you pay for support. Uh, so many, many thanks to Patrick and Awesome Miner. Um, I really can't stress how pleased I was with how quick he resolved the situation. Uh, I'm always happy with Awesome Miner anyway. I talk about it a lot in my live streams and I show you what I'm mining at the current time. Um, but yeah, this was a bizarre situation. I still have to fix an issue with my with Google. For whatever reason, I'm not getting my contact sync now, even though I've tried lots of things. I still can't show you guys tweets. I, st I don't know what's going on there with, with the certificate. I'm going to try some more uh, issues. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. And it, it did pour for me over the last day or so. But... Yeah, kudos to Patrick and uh, the Awesome Miner team. I can't stress how pleased I am with that. So if, you, if you're looking for a way to manage your rigs, and you know perhaps some of you guys that are watching us, maybe you just mine directly using CC Miner or DSTM, or is it DTSM? I guess DSTM. Uh, you know, maybe you're just using the Miner software directly rather than using a, a graphical user interface on top of it. But... For me, I really, I, I really struggled to go back from Awesome Miner to go back the way and use something like NiceHash, which you can actually use through Awesome Miner. But I really struggled to go back to NiceHash or to go back to CC Miner directly where I'm editing bat files. I've got everything set up on Awesome Miner to do exactly what I want, when I want it. I've got templates set up. I've got GPU overclocking. I've got everything set up. So I do complain on this channel from time to time. I do have some rants. But sometimes you need, have, you need to send out some love, send out some kudos to the people that are really helping miners and you know people in cryptocurrency. So many thanks to Awesome Miner. Um, awesome. You saved my ass. And get back to mining now. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, to, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please do leave a comment if you went through this situation yourself. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.